Hello everybody, I'm back, it's your IELTS tutor Jack, and welcome back to another episode of the IELTS Plus English Podcast. Well, I'm feeling a little fresher today, maybe you can hear still a little stuffy, my nose is still a little blocked, but feeling much better today. But today we have a really difficult topic, it's society. Now, of course, before we start, I must tell you, I have a handout with 10 vocabulary and expressions that you can have for free if you go to www.jacks-english.com or if you're in Korea, then you can access it through my neighbor cafe, Jacks English Yongguk Yongo. So it's available to everyone around the world. And it's got some really hard vocabulary and expressions today. I will be helping you with that, so don't worry. Society, I would say, is in my top 10 of IELTS topics you should be preparing. There are, you know, I've got 40 topics and we can definitely set priorities among those 40. There are more important ones and less important ones. Society is right at the top you know, top five topic you should be preparing because very often part two, particularly part three in speaking, is talking about society or something related to society. So definitely uh, a big priority for your preparation. Now, as I said, today's topic, we have a lot of difficult vocabulary. So Don't go through and try to memorize 10 vocabulary expressions. That's very hard. Try to pick three or four that you like. Let's get into our first part one. What social problems are there in your country? So I think there are a few problems in Korea. I'm going to talk about Korea. And uh, those include overpopulation, um, the population of Korea is actually really um, sort of badly dispersed. It's, it's really concentrated in some areas, but other areas it's very sparse. So that's one issue. I would also say the gap between the rich and the poor has always been a big problem. And nowadays especially, um, and this is also a social problem, is the property prices have gone up so much it's causing real problems for the younger generation and people who want to buy a house. You mentioned the gap between the rich and the poor. What can be done to alleviate this problem? I think if I knew that answer, I would be the president of South Korea. Uh, It's a really difficult problem to deal with, the gap between the rich and the poor. But I think the most important thing, of course, on one hand, you can tax the rich. Very controversial, but you can, there can be a rich tax. Uh, If you have a lot of wealth, you must pay more tax. On the other hand, you can provide more opportunities for the poor, provide more jobs, more education, and bring them up in society. Very difficult issue, not one that I know how to deal with really. Okay, um, we'll go straight on to a part two. Uh, Part two, so this is where it really gets into society. That society often comes out in part two and part three. So our first part, our part two today, is describe an aspect of modern society that you dislike. Okay, so I'm just going to put two minutes on the clock and let's start. I'd like to tell you about the use of smartphones. When I was young, I remember smartphones were terrible. You know, we didn't have smartphones, actually. We had these black and white, very small phones that were in no way part of our life. Yes, they were used for communication. Uh, You could text message. But of course, those things were really limited because you had to pay. Everything was paid and there was no entertainment. There was no cameras. So that was the sort of origin of hand phones, mobile phones, But then about 10 or 12 years ago, smartphones came about. 
smartphones revolutionized mobile phones by adding many different functions, including cameras, MP3 players, a screen to watch videos, so many different things. It's an entertainment center that we can carry with us wherever we go. And it's so much fun. It's, it's, you know, mobile phones, smartphones have so many things to do. But I think that's where the problem lies. So let me tell you more about the problem of smartphones. What I notice as I go around the city is people are glued to their screen. They walk around, they cannot look up and they're constantly watching videos or playing games. And this causes a number of problems such as car accidents. Sometimes people walk into the road or people are driving while watching their phone. That's one issue. Also just general um, lack of appreciation for strangers, um, a lack of manners with strangers. And this is meaning that people are bumping into each other. No one, Wow, two minutes flies. I had so much more to say. I didn't say my opinion. I didn't say the future. So probably a little bit poor time management from me, but that's certainly a, a topic that I can speak about very easily because it's something I really see around me. And that's a very important point. Don't pick some really hard social issue. I, you know, I, I didn't talk about the gap between the rich and the poor because... I don't really have a strong connection to that. So do be careful with what you choose. Great. Let's go on to some part threes. Number one is, is overpopulation an issue in your country? I live in Korea and overpopulation is definitely an issue, but it depends where you live. We have a very, uh, the, the population of Korea is really centered around the capital city, Seoul. And so if you live in Seoul or around Seoul, you will really experience overpopulation. Other areas, if you go into the countryside or smaller cities, you won't feel that at all. Quite the opposite, actually. In my case, I live in the east of Seoul and just using the subway every day from there to my office, it's packed. There's so many people and uh, I wish it was more like those smaller cities. Good. Okay. That was a very clean answer with an example. Uh, let's go on to another part three question. What can be done to combat overpopulation? I think the most, again, thinking about Korea, the most important thing is to provide opportunities outside of the overpopulated area. Everyone wants to come to the capital city because that's where the opportunities are. That's where the culture is, the entertainment. So if you develop other areas, then people are more likely to move. I don't think you need so much entertainment in other cities or anything like that. Most importantly, there has to be jobs and there has to be education. In my family's case, if there were opportunities in other cities to work and to live our life, absolutely we would move. But there really isn't at this time. Okay, let's uh, do our last part three question. And by the way, I'm enjoying this today. I quite like society as a topic. Uh, it's, it's always something that interests me. So, uh, how has society changed since you were young? Society has changed enormously since I was young in so many ways. But um, I think the biggest change has been probably technology and, and smartphones. When I was young, we just didn't really have that much exposure to technology. We didn't have smartphones. We didn't have these amazing TVs. Cars were really basic. I, it makes me sound old now, but th th you know, there's a big difference between then and now. Nowadays, the, there's so much technology all around us. You know, we're, we're constantly using smartphones. The cars have so many, you know, screens in the cars, screens in the back of the cars so the kids can watch TV. 
we're constantly surrounded by technology uh, and that's making a huge difference on society. Good. Okay. One quick note there. This is a change question. You know what I'm going to say. I've said it many times. Change questions are common. Follow these rules. Firstly, try to always talk about technology or social media. It's always something you can talk about related to change. Number two, follow my structure. What's the change? That's your first sentence. In the past, talk about the past. Nowadays, talk about what it, how it is now. Simple structure. Easy to do. Que these, these change questions are really common. And that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I really did. And uh, don't forget to, of course, like this podcast on your podcast platform or YouTube. Subscribe, become part of the community and also head over to www.jacks-english.com to get your free handout. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, well done. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Study hard. See you soon. Bye-bye.